Good night, good night, have one done tonight. God is good and God is good all the time. My name is Irma J. Spiritual Divine. I'm here to give you a word on tonight and the time we're going to be pressing on towards the goal. With unnecessary um, baggage. You know, so um, I'm going to start with this package is pressing on towards your goal. Meaning you cannot carry unnecessary baggage of people along with you, you know, because sometimes when you're moving forward, you know, you have to, you have to move forward sometime like, you, you know, and this like Jesus, Jesus always was traveling in life, and Jesus, um, disciple, you know, Jesus told him, if y'all gonna follow me, follow me with nothing, all they had with their, all they needed with their belt, and their, their, that's all Jesus had with their backpack, you know, and he was on his journey, moving towards his goal. You know, so he ain't carrying unnecessary um baggage. You know, and he told his disciples. You know, once they oh uh, he had to um get his family. Once they, he had to bury, he said no, let the bear, the dead bury back. You know, he said no, you have to come on. You know, so he ain't want family, people, um baggage, extra clothes. He you, he couldn't you couldn't I don't carry none of that. So follow Jesus. You know, and that's the same thing he's telling us. He always said, stop carrying, cupulating unnecessary stuff. You know, God, uh, so we know to follow Jesus, you had to carry nothing to follow him. Meaning family, all uh, material stuff. You know, remember two days ago, I just preached on about the um, rich ruler. Remember, I just talked talk about that. You know, when Jesus told him, go sell all your stuff and then come follow me. He um he walk away saying, you know, so to um to go towards your goal, sometimes you have to leave so much stuff behind. You, you know, sometimes you have to leave so much stuff behind. You know, you don't need to carry unnecessary stuff. Because sometimes when you um going towards your goal and you still carrying the same stuff that causes you so much problem, causes you so much drama, you're gonna be in the same boat. You know, so that's why Jesus said, travel light. You know, we don't need to carry unnecessary baggage, unnecessary stuff. Leave all that stuff behind us because we're starting a new child. You know, so Jesus said, if anyone will come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. You know, meaning deny yourself, mean you have to leave your family, your wife, your, your husband, you have to leave all this stuff behind to follow Jesus. You know, so uh, remember, Jesus was on his journey, and he carried nothing but a backpack. You know, nothing but a backpack. You know, and he threw, threw for a long time, you know, on his journey. You know, so then, you know, Paul, Paul, all Paul wanted to do, it gets to know Jesus. You know, so Jesus said, uh, leave everything and come follow me. He did just that, because all he wanted to do, it gets to know Jesus. He said... If I have to do that just to, to get to know Jesus, I lose it all. You know, but Jesus was just that important to um Paul that all he wanted to do be near Jesus. He just wanted to get to know Jesus. You know, so um now Paul wanted to get to know Jesus. Um Paul was willing to give up everything. If that is the price of knowing Jesus, you know, losing everything, he didn't care. He didn't care. He all he wanted to do was um, follow Jesus. He wanted to get to know Jesus. You know, now some people they are want to uh, get a be around a person with that kind of power and they can sense the energy that Jesus had. You know, he sensed the energy that Jesus had. You know, all he wanted to do is just be with Jesus, follow Jesus, and get to know him, you know, because his energy was just that strong. You know, so Paul Paul also said, I press towards the mark. Um, whatever there is challenges um, facing, um, you you must learn how to press up. You know, so, you know, it's just like anything coming against you. You know, Paul saying, keep on pressing on. Don't stop because, see, you're pressing on towards your goal. So no matter what's coming against you, don't stop. Just keep on going. You know, so Paul uses the race to show that we are constantly striving towards our goal. 
You know, imagine a person is running a race. He doesn't carry unnecessary um, clothes and all that. You know, when somebody is running a race, all they have their little shorts on and a little top, and that's it. You, you know, so that's what Paul trying to um, set example. We we gone we gone towards our goal, and he's saying don't carry unnecessary baggage. You, you know, and he doesn't carry unnecessary. You know, so he said, imagine a person that running a race. He doesn't carry unnecessary uh, clothing or bags. You know, you know when they are running, they have less clothes on and no bags. You know, so he used that as an example. You know, so Fibbling, um chapter 3, 13, 14 said, forgetting what is behind and, strain, and, and strive towards what is ahead. You know, so I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which God had called me heavenly ward in Christ Jesus. Now, he's saying forgetting what's behind us, you know, and press towards what's ahead you know so you going you pressing towards your goal you know we have to forgive what's behind us and we have to look forward you know we have to look forward and that's all i've been doing looking forward and, and visualizing my future that's all we're supposed to do we're supposed to now visualize what's behind us or what was in our past you know we have to visualize and, and move forward you know, we have to forget what's behind us because what's behind us is baggage that causes pain and suffering. You know, so we're going to leave that unnecessary baggage behind us and we're going to look forward and keep pressing our way to the goal. You know, that's what Paul is telling us to do. He said, forget what's behind us and worry about what's in front of us. You know, I had to get that. I had to get that because I used to just keep on, on drilling on the paths. You know, and now I'm I'm focused on moving forward, you know, and not worrying about what's behind. Because what's behind me causes me pain and suffering. What's behind me is baggage, you know. So I don't want to bring baggage. I don't want to bring uh, unnecessary stuff to my new life, to my new beginning, to my new child. You know, we don't need to bring all that stuff along with us in our new beginning. You know, so Paul's saying, forget what's behind us. And worry about what's in front of us, you know, and we're going to press on to what's our goal to win. Because, see, you can't win if we constantly keep looking behind us. You remember how what happened to um, Lot's La, own La, um, wife? You know, God told her, y'all move forward. Do not look back. But she looked back. And what happened? She turned into a hell. She didn't want to listen. When God tells you to move forward, you got to move forward. If he said don't look back. Don't look back. You know, she looked back and turned into a pimp. You know, and so Lot had to keep moving forward. He had to keep moving forward without her without, without his wife, but she had to turn into a pillar because she didn't follow instruction when God said, move forward, and I need y'all to do not look back. She looked back, and she turned into a pillar. So, I mean, Lot had to move forward without her. You know, that's why Jesus always used to tell his disciples, leave your family, your, your, your daddy, your husband, leave them behind. Because they ain't going to do nothing do no but drag you, keep, keep dragging you back. You know, that's why we have to travel alone. We have to travel alone because sometimes unnecessary baggage that keep dragging you back. You know, keep holding you back when you got to move forward. All that I be doing is concentrating to move forward. You know, I don't have I don't have time to do nothing else but to move forward. You know, so um, Paul said, for, forget what's behind and worry about what's what's ahead. You know, because we pressing on towards the goal to win, to win. That's what we have to remember. You know, so now when you pressing towards your goal, here comes the devil. And you know, when you pressing towards your goal, here comes the devil. He come up with his lies. He come up with his plot. He he coming to stop you. He coming to uh, uh hold you up, keep you at a standstill. He come to block. The devil come with all these things. But just like Paul said earlier about all these challenges and faces that you may face, you know, but Paul said keep on pressing on. You're going to keep on pressing on. You know, that's the devil try to stop me all the time. And I'm trying to pull my material. 
You know, I'm dealing with spiritual warfare. But you know, spiritual warfare don't want you to open that Bible up. And that's why I told you two days ago when I preached. You do whatever going to make that devil mad. Open that Bible up, tremor the devil. So you keep on opening that Bible up. You, you know, I get spiritual attack every time I open the Bible trying to put my material together. You know, it's just like Paul said. Every time you're trying to move forward, here come the devil. He come challenges. You know, but we got to keep on pressing on. Don't never stop. Keep on pressing on. You know, that's what Paul, Paul was saying. You know, so um, Paul also said, moving towards your goal. Don't carry unnecessary baggage of people. Because you remember when I tried to carry, bring his wife along, she looked back. And she turned herself here. So he had to wind up traveling with Moses by himself. You know, he had his daughter and, and, and everything else with him, but the wife had to look back. You know, when God said, don't look back, don't look back. You, you know? So you know Jesus' disciples had to leave their family behind to follow Jesus. You know, it costs a whole lot for you to follow Jesus. You know, because Jesus don't want you carrying unnecessary stuff people and, and family and all you know they want to like let me let me uh, check on my wife or let me let me check on my family or let me bury my father just died jesus said no you have to let all that go and you have to follow me you know and that's what paul said you have to concentrate focus on what's ahead of us not behind us and sometimes it might hurt because you might have to leave family behind you know jesus told his disciples you got to leave your family behind you know, you got to leave all that behind to follow Jesus. Because we don't need excess um, baggage slowing us up. You know? And so Jesus, they had to do just what Jesus told them to do. You know? So sometimes, to get where God is trying to take us, we have to leave baggage, people, and run your race with less stuff. You know, Jesus traveled life. And we have to travel life. And in order for us to start a new life. You know, we we starting a new beginning, a new life, a new chapter. We doing all that. You know, but if you have all kind of unnecessary baggage on your left, on your right, and the back, it ain't gonna do nothing to slow you up. You know, so that's what Jesus was telling his disciples. They ain't gonna know they ain't gonna do nothing but slow us up. You gotta leave all that behind. And if you can't leave all that behind, I give me some more disciples. You know, just like the um the rule. I just preached on that um two days ago. This rich rule. Jesus said, Give all your stuff away to the poor and then you come on and follow me. You know, because see the father Jesus, you had to get every you, you had to get rid of everything. The family and all. Uncle, daddy, you know, or anything is is baggage that gonna slow you up. You know, Jesus said you have you got to leave behind, you gotta deny yourself to come follow me. You know, so Paul was willing. He was willing to deny himself. He was, he was willing to give up everything to fight. Okay, that's that's what it takes to fight to you, Jesus. Okay, I'm, I'm getting rid of all that. Let's see, Paul. All Paul wanted to do to get to know Jesus. You know, Jesus had the high vibration. Jesus had a, a, a good energy. You know, energy. You know, you can feel it. You know, Paul was feeling his energy, so he wanted to be with with Jesus. You know, so um, we have to look. We had to look for what what ahead um to win. Not what behind us, because if we stuck what behind is bags, that will want us um we won't be able to move forward. And that's what I said earlier. If we keep on holding on to what's behind us, we ain't gonna be able to move forward. You know, because the bag is gonna be too heavy on our back. You know, we, we constantly trying to travel. And, and move forward, you know. We on a journey. We're gonna have to go here and now. And if our back is so heavy, you know, it's gonna be hard for us to keep the to, to be traveling. It's gonna be hard for us to move to our goal, you know, with all that heavy stuff on our back. You know, so you got to leave all that stuff behind. You know, we have to leave all that stuff behind. You know, that's what Jesus told his disciples. You know, you gotta deny yourself. You got to leave all that stuff behind, and then you come on and follow me. Don't never look back. You know, a lot of wife look back when she wasn't supposed to look back. You, you know, we have to not worry about what's behind. 
Because what's behind us had, had caused us so much pain and suffering. You know, so we don't need to carry all that pain and suffering, all the essence, um, baggage. We don't need to carry none of that with us. You know, we have to forget about all that. You know what it said? Forget what's behind you and move forward. Because if we keep holding on what's behind us, we're going to be stuck in that same position and won't be able to move forward. You know, so it's a blessing to know Jesus. And to have him in our life. You know, that that's the way Paul feels. Paul said, if that's, that's all I have to do to be near you, okay, I'm going to deny myself. I'm going to get rid of all my stuff. Just to follow you. Because see, Paul said at the beginning, all he wants to do is to know Jesus. That's all he wanted to do to know Jesus. And if to follow him as a disciple and get rid of everything, he did just that. You know, it's a blessing just to have Jesus in your life. You know, and that's how Paul was. Paul was so excited just to have Jesus in his life, just to, to follow Jesus. You know, so to have him in our life is a blessing. You know, so Paul was willing to give up everything just to be with Jesus, just to follow Jesus. You know, and that's amazing because he is an amazing um, person. Now, they had the best king ever to follow. You know, he was a good teacher. He was a good um, life. He was a good compassionate person. He was a good person that was on earth. And guess what? It doesn't matter how good you are. They still had some people that just dis dislike him and reject him. You know, you could be so good and nice and amazing. And some people still won't like it. Some people still will not accept it. You know, Jesus went through all that too on this earth. You know, so Jesus was the best thing on earth for his disciples. And Paul noticed, you know, you know, as Jesus picking his disciples, you know, Paul felt Jesus' energy. You know, so G um, Paul noticed what kind of person Jesus was and all he wanted to do was follow Jesus. You know, Jesus was the best thing on earth back then. You know, his disciples loved him besides the two that did, did disown him and, and betrayed him. And they, they loved him in their own way. But you know, sometimes the devil kick in on certain people. You know, so for all of us, for all of us to run this race, to win, we have to press our way through. Don't carry no baggage. Don't carry nobody to follow you, you know, into your new life. You know, I know it won't be easy, you know, because you have to be alone. You know, I had to start traveling alone because his wife looked back. You know, it's going to be scary. You know, I'm talking to myself too. It's going to be scary to travel alone. You know, it's going to be scary for all of us to travel alone. Because God wants us to be alone, you know, and, um, and down the line, you will find new friends. You will find new people in your life. But to get to what God's trying to get, get you to, you have to be alone. You have to be alone and you have to look ahead. And you can't look back. Look what happened to Light White. You cannot look back. If God said we moving forward to the finish line, we have to do that alone, you know. So, uh, we have to do it alone. We have to do it alone. We can't carry un unnecessary baggage or anything with us, you know, because if we have we have anything around us, under us, we're going to be distracted, you know. We're going to be distracted, you know. Your focus has to be on God. Your focus has to be on Him guiding and leading you on what He needs to what, what he trying to take you to. You know, so we have to press. We have to press our way to our goal. And we have to do that alone by carrying unnecessary baggage or anything else around us. You know, so Paul says to press your way through your goal, you have to not carry unnecessary baggage along your journey. You know, you have to carry light. Just like the people, just like um, the uh, the people that run that race, they just have their shorts on and their top, and that's it. You, you know, so just like Jesus, Jesus traveled, Jesus traveled light through his whole journey. He traveled light, 
you know, and so God want us to travel. Like, God want us to be alone going towards our goal, pressing our way towards our goal. You know, so I hope y'all enjoy this um, word. And remember, the package was about you going on your journey, pressing your way to your journey. And sometimes it might take take for you have to be alone. You know, he might have to be alone. You know, most of us is alone alone already. You know, I don't have no problem with it. I love being alone. I've been alone all my life. You know, so I get a whole lot of work done being alone. You know, I don't have nobody distracting me. Or what you cook or what you doing. I don't have nobody distracting me. You know, so I love being alone because I get more work done. Yeah, you know, so I hope y'all enjoy this word and don't be like don't be like lot. Keep on moving forward and do not look back. Keep the faith and keep pressing on. See you on the next video.